Hi and welcome to our channel. In this quick video, you'll learn how to use remote control with Teams, including how you can request or give remote control of your mouse and keyboard with other Teams users. Before a user can take control of another person's screen, they need to be granted permission. What's more, if you're using macOS you'll need to grant Teams permission to record your screen. Go to the Apple menu, click System Preferences, select Security and Privacy. Under Screen Recording, select Microsoft Teams. When you give control in Teams, another participant can virtually interact with your PC. For example, participants can type, edit, navigate the shared screen with their mouse, and make other modifications. Before you can give your screen control in Microsoft Teams, you will first need to share your screen. After sharing your screen, click on the menu to access the Microsoft Teams Give Control option. Click on Give Control, then select who to give control. Select Take Back Control from the same content sharing menu bar to regain control over your shared screen. If you find this video helpful don't forget to hit the subscribe button and give it a thumbs up. When a user grants another participant Microsoft Teams request control, they can only control the shared screen or window. So, for example, if you share on a window screen containing a Word document, the participant who now is Teams request control cannot switch to another app that is open on your desktop. Here's a short guide on how to request control in Teams, wait for one of the meeting participants to share their screen. When a participant shares their screen, click on the request control button to ask the participant for control over their screen. Once you are done with the virtual system interaction, click the stop control button to revoke the presenter screen control from your end. Here is a section that gives you an overview of all the actions you and your team can take with the share and request control teams feature. That's all for today, if you have any questions, please leave the comment below. Stay tuned!